What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Trend. You tuned in again to another exclusive video. Uh, TGIL, thank God it's Friday, man. I'm making this video because Spirit put this on my heart to talk about this topic again because I ain't really get off like I wanted to in that last video. Um, so this part two, for everybody that said something in that last video and wanted me to make a part two, this is the part two for you right here, okay? As you can see, I'm out here in the morning getting my vitamin D. I'm a little rough on the edges. I'm getting my exercise in. I rode my bike today and I'm feeling good, man. Um, probably gonna hit the gym after I get off this bike ride and out this park. But anyway, so <laughs> you know what's crazy. So I'm out here at this little park, right? I pull up in the park with my bike. I'm riding through the park. I come down the hill, come into the park with my bike. And like when I'm coming down the hill, it's this girl with her dog, right? She she got her dog out there. I guess she's throwing this ball around. So I get close to them, like riding by them on my bike. So I get like close to her, right? She gonna start reaching for something in her bag. She gonna stop and be staring at me and start reaching for something in her bag like she got something. Like, like, like ain't nobody want you. I'm riding past y'all. Ain't nobody want you or your dog. It's a Decepticon. Now look, now, so now I done went way across the halfway of the park, right? I'm on the other side of the park. She throwing the ball closer and closer to me so her dog will come over close to me so she can walk up to me and get closer and closer. So she keep throwing her ball like closer to me so she can get close to me now with her dog. Like, some Decepticons. Like, don't nobody want you or your dog. Don't nobody want that. You or your dog. Get out of here. But anyway, I had to tell y'all that, man. I had to tell y'all that. But listen, man. Um, one thing about family, man. Family will despise you when you start doing you, okay? When you start doing you, family will despise you, man. And it's sad, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why they do that is because most of the time, they don't want you to leave the family circle, all right? They don't want you to leave the family circle, you know? And it's sad that you, it's sad that it got to be like that, but that's just the way it is. Like, family, family, don't, care, family don't care if you do. They don't care if you do good. You know what I'm saying? They okay with you being all right. You know what I'm saying? You got a job. You you all right. They 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 cool with that. But when you start going above and beyond, you want to accomplish stuff. You want to be successful. You chasing your vision or, you know, you you really trying to chase your dream or something. That's when they're going to get quiet on you. That's when they ain't going to really want to talk to you. That's when they're going to go against you. You know, and don't be chasing it to the point you start accomplishing it. I don't know what you're trying to do for your life or whatever. I don't know if you got a business. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. I don't know what you're trying to do. But if you're doing better, if you're trying to do better than good, this is when the family is going to show their true colors. This is when most of your family members going to show their true colors about how they really feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they don't have nothing that they trying to reach. If they don't have no goals they trying to reach and they just settle in to just be normal and just settle for less and just be average and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna despise you. And it don't matter who it is. It don't matter who it is in your family. It could be your closest relatives. It could be it could be your siblings. It don't matter who it is. All that love that y'all used to have growing up and you know being raised together, y'all going to the same school together, whoop de whoop. All that's gonna go out the window. It's like they're gonna forget about all of that. They're gonna forget about all of that. Because people don't wanna people don't wanna be up under you. You know what I'm saying? That's just the world we live in. We live in a world where everybody everybody trying to compete with everybody everybody trying to be the best but see that they, they got the wrong they got the game wrong at the end of the day it's supposed to be your family against other families why you think other families out here got dynasties and stuff they got dynasties and and got you know the, the hiltons and stuff you know what i'm saying the d walt family the wally family on all the walmarts and stuff like that they, these families got true power structures but it's a sad thing when you're dealing with people in your family who mad at you just because you want to rebuild the family structure to make your family that much more prestigious. Just because you want to make your family that last name that much more popular. You know what I'm saying? You want to shift the things that your family been doing and you want to take your family to different places in the country. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to stay in the same 
area, the same neck of the woods that you was raised in and your mama and them stayed there. You want to expand your family name to different lands and stuff like that. You want to you want to have something. You want to meet somebody from a foreign country or, or a different country overseas or something so y'all can create the family legacy in a different continent. And the reason why they like this is because most of your family members, they think small. They're not thinking big. Most of your family members still on the neighborhood. They still on a neighborhood mindset. And it don't matter what age they is. Some of your family members could still be in the neighborhood elementary mindset. And you might have a college mindset. Hell, you, you might have a, 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 a post-doctorate degree mindset. It don't matter. If you come from a dysfunctional family, the main, the main reason why all your family is dysfunctional is because everybody in your family was bred to hate on each other. And it don't do nothing but keep being passed down from generation to generation to generation to generation. That's what it do. You know what I'm saying? It's like a curse. It's like a generational curse. Your mama don't want to see you do good because you her daughter and you you a greater version of herself. For some strange reason in her mind, she thinks that you trying to be better than her because you want to be on your own. You want to stay on your own. You want to make your own decisions. You know what I'm saying? You want to toot your own whistle, your horn. You know what I'm saying? You want to walk your own path and go do your own thing. You don't want to do the same thing they did when they grew up. You don't want to do the same thing she did when she did grow up. You don't want to work at the same job that he working at, that he working at, and y'all was at the same company. And it's like, you don't want to do that. And see, they take, see, your family members, they going to take that as disrespect. Oh, who you think you is? You know what I'm saying? It's like the, the Django movie. Who is that on that nag coming in here? Who he think he is riding on that nag? That's how that's that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a I'm a considered a black dude, but I'm really brown. People don't even know their colors. But all through my all through my life growing up, I was get I got picked on a lot because I was the light skinned black guy. Guy. People was mad because. People, people in my family was talking junk about me because I was light skinned. Hey, it's ignorance. It's ignorance. You know what I mean? Their family. One thing about family is if they trying to get up under your skin, they trying to make you feel bad. They will always try to smart aleck you. They will always try to say something about you that's gonna hurt your feelings because see, they know you too much. They know you. They know too much about you. That's why. That's why most of your family don't respect you. You know what I'm saying? The way you expect them to respect you. They don't, they, they don't respect you. They, they feel like they shouldn't tell you that you're doing good. Or, you know, they feel like they shouldn't praise you or congratulate you at all. You know why? Because they feel like they know you too well. And that's why you can't be around them all the time. You got to get away and go out here and meet different people. You know how many people out here in the world that's like me and that's like you that's out here in a melting spot in a different place just everybody fresh from different places trying to do the same thing you'll meet some people out here and once you get outside of your your neighborhood once you get outside of the quarters of what you ever been known all your life you will find that other people are out here just like you they in the middle of nowhere they just trying to figure out like man is, if, if anybody out here like me do anybody want to make the same connections as me is anybody you know what i'm saying like you'll run into a lot of people they felt like they had to get away from their family too. Man, every successful person to tell you, you can't hang around your family. You can't hang around your family if you're trying to be successful. It just don't work like that. They never gonna support it. Cause like I said, most of the time, most of the time they not really doing nothing. They comfortable with watching TV and, 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 and Denzel Washington and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Those are their heroes. So if you like if you're trying to change, if you're trying to change the family structure, if you're trying to change the family plan and stuff like that, they ain't gonna help you do it. Because they feel like, you know what, like how dare you come and try to, you know, how dare you come and try to shake things up? How dare you come and try to change things up? I swear, bro, it's it's like everybody's of this part is like a whole acre, bro, a land. I swear everybody in their mama is trying to get over here to me to hear what I'm talking about in this video, bro. Decepticons, bro. Decepticons, bro. Just come and say what I'm talking. Just come and ask me, like, what you talking about? 
Like, damn. But anyway, on some G, like, on some G, though, like, family gonna despise you because they don't want to leave, they don't want you to leave the family circle. Just take notice. Anytime you're trying to do something, anytime you're trying to do something that expands your life or that makes you become a greater version of yourself, anytime you got plans to do something big like that, family gonna always try to shut it down. They gonna always try to tell you why it ain't good, why it ain't this, why it ain't that. They gonna always try to tell you how dangerous it, it is. They gonna always try to tell you, oh, you can't go there. People told me you train, tra you don't need to go to California, you don't need to go to the West Coast, you need to stay over here where you, you know what I'm saying? That's like some slave mentality stuff. Uh, just stay on the plantation. Masters treats us good. We make twenty five cents an hour. Man, I ain't staying on no plantation. We 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 not we should not do that. Boss will get us. That's how your family be thinking. And see, don't mistake that for love. That's love, but it's not the love that you need in order to succeed. You see what I'm saying? It's not the love that you need in order to succeed. Family family can love you, but at the same time, they can love you in a way that blocks what God has intended for you. You understand? Your mama and your daddy is your mama and your daddy. Don't get me wrong, but they could actually block what God got intended for you because they want you to remain comfortable. They want you to be stagnant. They want you to stay around them. No, you still our baby. You still our baby. You don't need to go out there in that world. It's a dangerous place out there. They'll make you feel like that. And the next thing you know, you, you, you about 45, 50 years old, you still around mama and daddy. Because you don't let mama swindle you in to being her man, dog. Now you, mama's boy. You, you're not responsible for what your mama and daddy didn't accomplish. That's their life. It's time for you to live your life and do the things that you need to do that make you happy. You don't have to sit around family members and try to appease them and try to please them and make them think that, oh, you, um, I'm not better than the family. We a family unit. I ain't never going to leave y'all. I ain't going to live. I'm going to always be in the hood. You always want me to be in the hood. You, people, people kill me. Oh, he ain't keeping it real. He ain't keeping it hood. Man, you don't own not one block in the hood. You don't own not one street in the neighborhood. It is not your land. That's the most stupidest, ignorant philosophy I ever thought of. You got people talk about, people talk about, oh, you ain't hood no more. I heard that in my life growing up. Ah, uh, you ain't keeping the hood no more, Trent. I don't own none of this neighborhood or these blocks. You know what I'm saying? Look, that girl getting close. She getting closer and closer and closer and closer. Now look where she at, y'all. Right there. Following me following me watch she gonna throw the ball over here with her dog come over here now i told you but anyway listen they gonna despise you though man i mean it's normal but see you gotta be the type of person you gotta be the type of person that's like you know what i ain't even gonna feed into the family generational thing because i'm trying to tell you they don't want to deep down inside they don't want to see you do better than them it's just that simple they want you to be good. They, they want you to do good. They want you to be all right. But when you start being extremely great, when you start going above and beyond, you're going to notice your closest friends and your family members is going to go quiet. They gonna, like, it's not like they're going to be deaf. It's like they don't even see you. They don't even hear you because they don't want you to know. They don't want you to congratulate you. They don't want to give you credit. They don't want to acknowledge your vision. Maybe they gave up on their dreams. Maybe they gave up on be, becoming a better person for themselves. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know the story of your family. I'm just saying. I talk to y'all all the time on the phone. I hear the same stories all the time. My family ain't this. Bro, listen. One thing I understood on my journey is, listen, my family don't owe me nothing. You, 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 you take what God has put inside of you. If God telling you to do something, you listen to him. You don't got to go to your family and ask them, hey, what do you think about this, unk? You, you think I should make, make, make this happen? Unk don't see your vision. Your parents them don't see your vision. 
They, they never going to see your vision. Nobody going to see the vision. God put the vision in your mind and in your heart. Only you got it. Only you can make it happen and believe in it. If you are scared to believe in what God is telling you to do, then you're going to always be around your family and you're never going to expand your family, your family legacy. You're never going to expand your family name. That's what this is all about. That's what walking with God is all about. When you walk in with God, you say, God, I want you to use me for your glory. I want to be this and I want to help me do that. God, like first thing God say is he going to strip you down of everything that you have, even your family. He going to take everybody away from you that can help you because you so codependent on your family. God going to take everything away from you. He even going to take you, make you broke. He did it to me. God going to take you out of the comfort zone. He going to say, all right, you want to be on a, God, God say, all right, you want to be on the team? All right, come to boot camp then. Lee got leave, got to leave from home. Come to boot camp. We about to do some drills today. Damn, up, damn. Your family can't call you while you at boot camp. They can't call you. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way God going to do you when you want to walk in your path. When you want to walk in your dream, if you want to be a music singer, if you want to be a baseball player, Hell, I don't give a what you want to do. You want you want to drive airplanes for a living? Okay, you want to be an airplane? You want to be a pilot? God gonna God gonna say, I right, well, you can't be around your family. You know why? Because you gotta have to travel all across the country and stay in hotels and places you ain't never even been before. Ain't nobody gonna be around you. You a pilot? You gotta go meet places you never seen before. You might not get back home to th three or four days with your wife. Why? Because you, you following in your purpose. You following in your path. Family can't help you accomplish nothing. That's the, tr that's the trick of the devil. Oh, your family should be supporting you. They should be helping you. No, they don't. They don't need to help you. You Only, be, only help you need is from God. That's it. Now, I don't want you to leave this video without leaving me a comment because I did listen to you and I made a second part for those of you who told me to. So, leave this video. Before you leave this video... Leave me a comment, man. Le leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Oh, girl, listen. I told y'all, man. This, this is Decepticons. She walked all the way across the park from way back there. That's where I pulled up there on my bike. And she done threw her ball all the way across the whole park just to come over here and walk past me. At first, she was reaching in her bag like, who are you? Why are you pulling up on me? Decepticons, boy. That girl's crazy, bro. Bipolar. Not y'all, not y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> I be stripping off stuff like that, bro. But anyway, and it's called energy, y'all. It's energy. When you got that energy, people can feel it. They can sense it. It only take people two minutes to underfill your energy. You could be way across the park. You could be way across the, the bar. You could be way across the lounge. You could be way across the club. They can feel your energy. They can. They know if you approachable or not. But some of y'all got bad energy and y'all not approachable. You feel me? And y'all, y'all, y'all wonder why people don't really want to say nothing to you, because you make yourself approachable. You look like, you look like you don't want to be bothered when you go out in places and stuff. And people can read it. They look like, uh, he look good and he look fly, but he look like he trying to act like he better than us. They ain't gonna go to you. You ain't gonna get no numbers, dog. But when you got that good energy, like, yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? And I look good. You, you, when you got that kind of energy, man, people will just ease their way to you, man. They just ease their way to you slowly. Next thing you know, they'll be talking to you. They'll be stepping beside you like, what, what, what's your favorite color? Uh, hey, you, what's your favorite color? Get away from me, man. <laughs> Decepticon. <laughs> With my favorite color. I don't know. Purple. Ooh, that's mine too. Anyway, um, so what you trying to eat, girl? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't want you to pay for my food, Benny. Anyway. I'm going to stop. I ain't going to get into that right now. I'm going to make another video today. Hey, make sure that y'all join and become Rim Team members, y'all. I'm about to be going live. Um, I'm going to be going live on my channel um, Sunday. Me and Mark Halton going to go live. Make sure y'all add our new channel, too. But if you want, if you on this channel, 
and you're not a part of our new channel, you won't be able to watch that video because it's gonna be for members only. So how do you become a member and you love my channel and you like my videos? Support the channel. We a soul team, okay? I ain't going nowhere. So support my channel, invest into my channel by clicking that join button down there beside the subscribe button. And then when you join it, come Sunday, when we go live, I'm with everybody that's on my uh, membership list, six figure status, millionaire status, multi-millionaire, y'all gonna get to see the live of me and Mark Halton. And y'all know when me and Mark Halton get on there, we go a whole hour talking about chosen one stuff. We go off, boy. Huh? If you didn't know, check out this next video. At the end of this video, check out me and Mark Halton video at the end of this video and you'll see how we do it. Sunday, I'm going live. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, man. It's your big bro trend. Also, if you've never seen part one to this family, this whole family um episode thing that I'm doing right now, watch part one that I made yesterday. It's also gonna be at the end of this video. Also, if you, I keep telling y'all to go ahead and get this, invest into this, man. You'll get it back. Listen, money that come to us, y'all, if we circulate it, it come back to us. You don't see, you don't know that secret yet. That's why me and Mark Halton gonna talk to you about stuff like that on our new channel. We don't lose money. We the chosen ones. We, we, we give it away to things that we want and then it comes right back. That's what I've been doing. This is why I haven't worked for a soul in the past six years. Get that course, chosen ones and family course. If you're going through some family dysfunctional situations right now, it's my secret videos up in there. So you might want to get that right now, man. You want to thank me later, man. It's your big bro trend. Let me get back to my bike, my bike ride. Get my cardio right. Then I'm going to hit the gym. Yes, sir. It's all about health, man. Feel good, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.